West Virginia. The year is 2102, and it's been 25 years since fire and nuclear destruction rained from the sky. Most of civilization was eradicated in the Great War, but the residents of some vaults like this vault here, Vault 76, were spared the ravages of the wasteland. residents of Vault 76 would have had very little idea of what to expect out on the surface. And in some ways, I imagine this is much more pleasant than what they might have anticipated. As a matter of fact, many people continued to live in these parts for years following the Great War. Unfortunately, they were all lost to the scorched plague, but that's story for another time. The result, though, was that the dwellers of Vault 76 emerged into a world devoid of human inhabitants. A world where nature slowly taking over. Oh, look what we've got here. It looks like somebody tried to set up a camp successfully set up a camp. We've got a little pot on the fire. Looks like a book of recipes, maybe. Some chopped wood. And somebody was making a living out here in the wilderness not that long ago. very well have been an individual from Vault 76, given how close we are. Much of the foliage surrounding us has survived in the wasteland. Almost entirely unscathed. It 
seems that many plants are quite resilient when it comes to resisting the heightened levels of radiation spread across the countryside by rain and wind such that slow wander through the woods like this on a sunny morning. You'd hardly know that the world had ended. You can hear the birds in the trees and the wind like it's always been. Of course, if you were to actually encounter an animal in these parts, you'd realize that West Virginia didn't survive completely unscathed. hereabouts exhibit mutations and strange anomalies indicative of the heightened levels of radiation in the environment. things considered. It's mighty pretty in these parts. And a fine place for a relaxing Seems like a particularly calm day. We haven't seen or heard any sign of mutated wildlife or conflict. It really is easy to forget about the troubles of the rest of the world when you're wandering these forests, just enjoying the dappled sunlight playing across the ground, through the foliage. We're not going anywhere. soaking up the beauty of this largely uninhabited landscape. And it looks like a little bit of rain is starting to fall from the sky, but you know, even the rain seems cleaner out here. In other parts of the continent, radiation storms sweep across the landscape. They're quite dangerous. But out here, no such thing. Just good, clean water falling from the sky. the plants as it always 
Jesus has. And it looks like Virginia as it once was. Not that long ago, really. But a lot can happen in 25 years. This area used to be to come out here to vacation. Lots of cottages, lakeside homes, hillside cabins, where people would escape the troubles of their lives. And it's kind of funny after the end of the world. That's kind of what we're doing here today, isn't it? Just taking a relaxing wander through the wasteland. despite the fact that man has torn himself asunder, fought so hard that there's very little left of civilization. Out here in the forests and hills, amidst all of nature, there's still some peace to found. A cabin to be found too, evidently. Let's investigate. It looks well and truly abandoned. It looks like it's probably been sitting here anybody since the Great War. Oh, look, though. Looks like a radio tower in the distance, eh? I think we'll leave the tower, but perhaps there's something interesting worth seeing around the cabin. I 
was wrong. It does look like somebody's been here after all. Recently, there's a pot set up to cook food, and although it appears to be boarded up, there's signs of recent occupation. Look at this. This is an instrument, some kind of stringed musical instrument that somebody has created from junk. Even in the darkest times, people find time for the things they love. It's not an essential part of survival in the wasteland, but it lifts the spirits, doesn't it? Why don't we just uh, see if we can get out onto these rocks here? I bet you it's a nice view from there. Can you hear the wind chime? It's been tinkling away this whole time. right, wasn't I? It is a nice view from up here. Rain clouds and all. Well, it's easy to see why a survivor who stumbled across a cabin in the woods like this would decide to make a home here. This was probably once a vacation home. A place where people would come to get away from the troubles of the world. And it still serves that purpose. Out here in the wasteland. stuff.